only God give testimony of themselves. That is why Christ says in John 5, 32 and 36, another is he who gives testimony about me. And I know that the testimony he gives of me is true. I have greater testimony than John's because the works that God the Father gave me to accomplish, the same works that I do give testimony of me, that God the Father has sent me. In other words, it is God the Father Melchizedek who gives testimony that I am his Christ, his wife, always supporting me by fulfilling everything I say because it comes from him. And what I do in the lives of our spiritual children is the proof that everyone needs to see to verify that I am who God the Father says I am. And what better witness than he himself and our spiritual children who experience our power? How beautiful. The loyalty of heaven is so beautiful to God, and there's nothing worse than a false witness. Therefore, these mortal men shouldn't be receiving anything in the name of God. That is why Christ calls them thieves and robbers. As she says in John 10, 8, all who came before me are thieves and robbers, and it is because they have been stealing from God for centuries, when only God is the one who can receive the tithes from their people, and it is the way that God uses to show that God does live and that we are walking and dwelling in the minds of our faithful people, demonstrating our power and also teaching them to not worship strange gods that can become gigantic in the earthly minds of any man and woman who always want to be up front, especially in the religious groups, because the root of all evil is the love of the money that belongs to God. I am exposing the thieves and robbers, those so-called pastors who have stolen the sheep from the other fold that I should also bring, because they don't belong to them. There's only one pastor of the sheep, and it is not a mortal man. She is the first immortal. She is the wisdom of the heaven of God, and her name is Christ Lisbeth. Everything was made by her and for her. So listen well to what I'm saying. The love of money is not wanting to be prosperous. All should aspire to be prosperous in all areas of their lives. Because you are faithful in giving tithes to God. And we have poured in you blessings of heaven until it overflows. And if you want to see manifested prosperity, you must do everything with the wisdom of God, your spiritual parents, with our justice, peace, and joy of heaven, without greed, always being peacemakers in everything. And if you do so, I assure you that you will always do well and prosper greatly in everything you undertake. Amen? Amen. Amen.